We found that large arrays of offshore wind turbines could not only reduce wind speeds of the hurricane by up to 50% or 25 to 40 meters per second, but also storm surge by anywhere from 6 or 7 to 80 percent, thereby reducing the storm damage. The way we carried out this experiment was through numerical modeling of the atmosphere. And so we ran simulations for three different hurricanes, Hurricane Katrina, Hurricane Isaac, and Hurricane Sandy. We ran simulations uh, without turbines present and then with turbines present. And in fact, we have results here. So on the left side in both cases are Hurricane Katrina. As it hits land, it starts to dissipate. It's causing damage over land. Now, if you add turbines, we added uh, tens of thousands of turbines in this triangular region up here. And you can see initially that these turbines are reducing the wind speed significantly. And you can see that once the hurricane hits over land, that the hurricane has dissipated almost entirely in that region downwind of the turbines. These turbines would pay for themselves over time, but because they're used year-round to generate electricity, they just serve an additional benefit to reduce the damage of hurricanes. Some people might ask, well, won't the wind turbines get destroyed by the hurricane? But we found that whether it's in the Gulf Coast or East Coast, the hurricane actually dissipates by the time it reaches the turbines, such the wind speeds never get up to the destruction wind speed of the hurricane, even in something so powerful as Hurricane Katrina.